Bond. James Bond. Welcome back, Scale Modelers, to SMKR. This is your host, Steve. Let's revisit issue three and issue four. And those had to do with the assembly of the engine and transmission. Now, the kit instructions that we currently receive from Eagle Moss are lacking in a way of not telling us to install everything completely. And if you just follow their instructions, you're going to miss out. Luckily, one of my viewers pointed out to me that the transmission should have already been installed before I even installed, right after I installed the two engine halves. So if our predicament is, is this right here. Here's the transmission. It inserts into the bottom of the engine, but the screw that holds it in place goes down from the top. Issue 3 totally didn't tell us to install this. So that's our predicament. So let's look at issue 3 and I'll give you a remedy for this and we'll show you how you can fix this along with you need to go to my Facebook group that I created for this car. I'll put a link in the description below and there you can find some instructions on making the correction. So let's look at the, the instructions to see what happened here and why it was totally missed. Here's the instructions for issue three. And I marked it here. So we're looking at around stage eight of the instructions. And they talk about the gearbox and sump and all that, showing you the part location and all that here, and they actually show you to install the, the bracing for the engine and the top half of the transmission, but they left out the whole step where this gets mounted underneath the engine itself. So that assembly is actually located in issue four. So let's get issue four out. Issue four is where we put the two engine halves together. So I've got that marked. And we're on stage 11 for issue four. So in stage 11, we put the two engine halves together. And then we put the top of the engine on. And see, nowhere does it show to put the transmission in. However, it shows a transmission in the picture here. So that, that was totally missed in the instructions. And like I was saying, I will upload a version of the instructions I found on the net, on the internet, for the fix for this. So if you head over to my Facebook group, you'll be able to download those for yourself. And you'll be able to make the correction with the engine and transmission. Now, this video is coming out now and we're about uh, heading up on the second week of October 2020. And uh, when I upload this video, I'm actually going to move it in the playlist so it's right behind uh, issue 4. So we need to gain access obviously to in here so we can um, install the transmission. Probably the easiest way to do this is we're going to have to remove the top here. There's two screws that hold it down. So let's do that. There's one here by the distributor and we'll just have to work our way around that a little bit and get that screw out. Okay. Luckily the screw is not very long and we'll take this one out here and 
and that should allow the top half of the engine to come off, I think. Yep, there it goes. <clears throat> so it's just two screws you need to take off in order to take the top half of the engine off. And I'll lay this down, upside down, very carefully. Now, let's get our transmission. And they tell us we need to put an L screw into this. And that's found on the instructions I found on the internet. And like I said, you can download those on my Facebook group. I've been saving all my screws, so I'll get an L screw out. And we just need one. I was thinking that this was going to be installed later, but it can't happen because every, you're putting the engine together and there's no way you can access the screw that goes in there. So, let's take and mount this transmission to the engine now. And it simply snaps in. That's how it looks. So this definitely needs to be done on issue 4. Okay, stage 11. So we'll get our L screw and we'll screw that down. There we go. Now the transmission is mounted. Okay. Now we need to put the top back on. And that should just snap down also. put our two screws back in that we took out in the first place. Okay, back one's tight. Put the front one in. And the front one's tight. So there we go. Here we go. Now, the transmission is mounted like it should be. And I'm sure we're going to add some other parts to it a little bit later. But that's how that should look. So I promised to uh, verify with the older instructions that I found before I uh, proceed on with the build, just to make sure I, uh, I don't make leave anything out or forget things. And just, just the way the instructions are. So there's a few more that I need to post up here for you all. So just keep an eye out on my channel as I will be making some other corrections to a couple more uh, uh, issues that I've already done. But I appreciate my viewer who pointed this out to me and said that um, I'm missing some stuff. And that was very helpful. And hopefully that won't happen again. But obviously I've got two more corrections I need to do. So watch out for two more videos that will be coming out here soon. So if you like my video, Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell for all notifications. And head over to Eagle Moss and subscribe to this car today. It's a lot of fun. It's a beautiful car when it's finished. I consider it an investment. And it's not going to depreciate one bit. There's collectors out there that will buy this from you 
and you would definitely get your money back, probably even make more. With that, happy modeling everybody, and take care.